And it's so hard to get in deep work, to focus, to just get on track. It doesn't help that I'm overwhelmed. Like I still need to get this stuff done anyway. There's no one to tell me if I'm doing this right. There's no one to help me. Is this what anxiousness like feels like? I need to stop being stressed about being stressed. I wanna cry, I wanna cry. I'm living in New York City with my fiance, Sean, but this summer he's away interning in Boston. My sister just graduated from Caltech, and since I rarely get to see my mom, she lives in China now, I was really excited to have them both stay with me while Sean's gone. But having family around has definitely shaken up my routine between YouTube, applying to Harvard Business School, and work. It's been really tough to keep things running smoothly. So let's walk through a day to see how I'm managing it all, even when my mental health isn't at its best. I'm, I at least I've gotten many questions like what do you do when you feel so overwhelmed and you're not in a good mental space and you still have to get so much done and I and like you know I'm going through that right now hence why I also think this is somewhat helpful to document this is how I cope with my frustrations let it out so then I can actually continue grinding instead of banging my head against a wall it is so head splitting frustrating when you don't have the things you need to do something because uh, I wish I had my planners from high school. Even one picture of a page from my planners in high school. But I had to get rid of all of them plus like 90 per 8, 5, 8 percent of my stuff because we lost our childhood home and there's just so much regret and like this feeling just waves all over me and like I know it's really hard to understand my heart right now also it just aches and it feels like my chest is so tight and my head doesn't feel good either and i have a meeting in like two minutes and then i have to film right after which i haven't gotten ready and put makeup on i haven't finished the script yet it's just been so so difficult to do work recently because as much as i love my sister and mom being here they've been staying with me in this 600 square foot apartment where i literally work from home i film i do everything from home and it's so hard to get in deep work to focus to just get on track and i have more work than i usually do mentally i'm like i gotta get it together i need to continue going because it doesn't help that I'm overwhelmed. Like I still need to get this stuff done anyway. Hence why I'm pouring my heart out. Hopefully it'll lift some of the weight off my chest, off my back. And I understand why people say feelings come from the heart. Cause like you can actually feel your heart like hurting. I have to film and be like happy. I am happy filming, but it's like you have to film and pretend like your whole mood and everything's going well when in reality kind of sucks, kind of sucks. I can't dwell on these feelings right now and go like do self-care or like take a break to get back into zen mode and like ready to actually work. So I'm just doing these <laughs> short-term like therapy sessions with myself and my phone camera, trying to control my emotions and think logically, stoically. At the end of the day, I wanna be proud of myself for still getting what I need to get done, done. At the end of the day, I would have rather gotten everything done to the best of my ability, adjusted my emotions because I believe I can control them. As hard as it is, be overwhelmed, might not feel good, but make progress. That's option one, or be overwhelmed and make no progress. At the end of the day, if you do the former, you're gonna feel less overwhelmed and better. Okay, I need to go to my meeting now, oh my gosh. This is so, so hard and stressful when you're doing your own things and it's not just like assignments and things where people can help you with. So my whole body is like not feeling so hot. I have this pit in my stomach, tight chest, heart is like not feeling so happy. It's like, is this what anxiousness like feels like? Not that this is the first time, but just finished the meeting. I think it went well, it was pretty chill. I just know that if I don't keep going, then I'm gonna be even more overwhelmed and feel more anxious. So if I throw myself into doing what I gotta do and just chip away at it, get into flow state, I think I'll feel much more at peace. That's what usually happens once I get into flow state. Forcing myself into flow state is harder when I'm stressed. It's also harder for you to focus when you're overwhelmed because you will have more of the stress hormone called cortisol. And too much cortisol makes flow state more difficult. 
Hi, it's Amy from the future. This is the future. To manage my cortisol levels and gut health, I've been taking supplements as part of my new ritual. These capsules are Stress Relief and Symbiotic Plus from Ritual, who is kindly sponsoring this portion of the video. I take these both every morning, and I notice that on days when I take Stress Relief, I tend to have a more positive Zen mood that lasts. That's because this special capsule has three little tablets inside, where one releases immediately, the second one dissolves in four hours, and the third one in eight hours. And it's just so cute! I've talked about superfood ashwagandha in previous videos, and yes, this capsule has that key ingredient as well as these others. All disease begins in the gut, so that's why it's super important to have good gut health. You can be more efficient when your immunity and inner workings are one fewer thing to worry about. Symbiotic Plus contains prebiotics, probiotics, and postbiotics. They're all in this tiny little capsule that has slow release technology so that it reaches your colon, not your stomach, making it more effective. This has greatly helped with my digestion. I won't say more than that. And I feel less bloated. These tablets feel like they have a little world inside of them, tiny but mighty. And as Rita Ora says, you always be my ritual. <laughs> I'm going to share something cool with you. These two supplements have their biggest discounts right now. So if you've been wanting to level up your supplement game, it's the best time to try Ritual because their best sale is happening for Black Friday, Cyber Monday, where you get a whole 40% off your entire purchase. Use my link below to save big and to kick off your healthier habits. Taking care of my body by slowing down and taking supplements like Ritual has been helping a lot. I just wanted to give you a little glimpse of things being better. Speaking of slowing down, let's go back to my overwhelming day when I realized... Yeah, I think I can only film one video today. As much as I'd like to push myself, I will be okay schedule-wise if I just do one video today because I just... I really don't think I can do two in my current state. Because technically the second video, I'm not even done scripting. I want to get it just right and do the topic justice because I care about it so much. And yeah, this is just so stressful because when like things you depend on, like depend on how people perceive you or like how well your storytelling was and then there's no one to tell me if I'm doing this right. There's no one to help me review this or give advice or things because I'm probably the expert at what I'm doing right now. And the only way I find out if it's actually good is after I film the whole thing, edit, make thumbnail, perform SEO, do everything, everything, release it to the world, and then see how it goes. It's like, it's not the most efficient. <laughs> like you do all that work and then you find out whether it's good. This is not an 80% rule kind of thing. You can't get it to 80% as I recommend. You typically want to do a step or kind of get the big picture like in very rough MVP see if that's good with some feedback and then proceed like you don't want to do wasted effort you don't want to waste effort i can't even speak you don't want to waste effort going down a road farther that's wrong it's better to have checkpoints but it's not possible to have checkpoints for this thing okay i have limited time before my sister and mom gets back so i want to cry i want to cry because ah why did I lose my childhood home and lose all my useful things? <gasps> and it's like all all that all that work and all the like cool things that was put into my planner and like it really just represents so much. And it's all disintegrated into dirt now, probably. It's just in the dumpster like ever since we moved. Um <sighs> Jayo, I can do it. I can do it. Smile. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Bye. One more thing. I'm like stressed about how stressed I am. And then I get more stressed because I'm supposed to be trying to optimize my health and my body and my hair growth before the wedding. Cause it's going to take a while, but maybe that's just not possible to have like a chiller time and get into a state where I'm not scrambling all the time. Maybe I do this to, my to myself. I need to stop being stressed about being stressed. I need to make a game plan for how I'm gonna optimize how I am before the wedding. But then it's like, oh, I should always be in this better state, not just because it's before a wedding, you know? It's not like, oh, you should be on a diet. You should make that a lifestyle. My hair is getting thinner. Maybe it's just aging and hormones though. I like to think that that's not stress. <laughs> You know what? I'm actually going to do a five minute meditation because no, I do not not have time.
for meditation because five minutes could save me hours of continual stress <laughs> so it should be worth it it's like sharpen the saw man i think i always underestimate the power of meditation no matter how many times i do it and i haven't done it in a while after that five minutes i used a meditation from a youtuber called lavendare oh my gosh i just knew what i had to do so my next step was i changed I reply to an email and I'm ready to film a video. Chest is still kind of tight, but it's better. I just feel more ready. <laughs> it's so, yeah, I sound like uh, just, I have no brain cells, which I don't. Meditation is just like a very intense shot of calmness where like usually people might take vacations and they're like oh we need to have a longer period of time or i need like an hour to do self-care but just five minutes of complete doing nothing eyes closed focusing on your breath that's what i feel like is a more intense version of that relaxing it's an intense mini vacation if you will so i need to find some way to incorporate it into my daily routine i know i can do it it's only five minutes come on amy you can do it you know what this might actually be a great vlog slash informational video like a real time showing how to do work when you feel overwhelmed i think this is more helpful and authentic than those videos how to stop feeling overwhelmed and give like 10 tips i think i'm starting to turn things around a little bit but oh my gosh my hair looks so good let's celebrate the small wins and oh my gosh thumbnail <laughs> pat yourself on the back don't feel shame at saying you're good cheer yourself on don't be humble to yourself be like you know what you're doing great even though things are hard right now you are doing great you are doing great okay let's film this thing one hour later woohoo an hour later and we are done filming the long video so this is about my creator work throughout the day but it can still be applicable to tests any tasks you have because advice online especially if it's gonna be advice in real life showing someone's work day as an example as inspiration that means that it's not going to relate exactly to your life because if I get more than one viewer. <laughs> All the people watching this video are not going to have the exact same experience or the exact same things they're overwhelmed with. So essentially, instead of forcing myself to film two videos today, what I'm doing is kind of like I did when I was in school. I'm being fluid and I move things around to even out each day. So instead of two long form videos, which is more stressful. I'm moving the second video to either Saturday or Sunday. Tomorrow I'm actually doing a follow-up wedding dress appointment. And instead, because I already have makeup on, I'm going to film a few short form videos. I'm helping my dear friend who is the founder of this clothing company. I'm wearing my favorite clothing brand. It's so cute. It says Da Wang. These are the Chinese characters, which means Da, which is <laughs> grand. Big Wong, Wong like King, my last name. That was weird. So yeah, if you have a ton of tasks, try to find some way to even them out a little. So you can do like a pattern of a harder task, easier task, harder task, easier task with little breaks in between. Also, I am feeling so satisfied after filming because there are many things we get nervous about doing like public speaking, taking tests, doing presentations, doing interviews. For me, that right now is filming. I always get nervous before filming. But recently, I listened to some Alex Hormozy on the airplane. He really emphasized to prepare more. The more we prepare, the more ready we are, which makes us less nervous. Which sounds obvious, but sometimes I feel like I'm just on such a time crunch that I don't fully prepare before filming. And that's why I actually struggle more filming and feel frustrated with myself which makes it even harder and take longer. But this time I reviewed the script multiple, multiple times. I took extra long to actually write it out more and it went so smoothly. This is a great lesson. Not that I didn't learn this before, but yeah, when you spend more time, you prepare for tests, prepare for presentations, prepare for anything until you are ready, then you will feel ready and you will not feel nervous. It's like, why don't we do that? Why don't we just do that? Why do we still go into tests feeling unprepared and then wonder why we did bad. 
we just have to prepare more. Alex Hormozzi was so right. No wonder that guy's a billionaire. Actually, I think a millionaire. Still pretty big air. I'm not even a thousand nair. Hundred thousand nair. <laughs> Also, I felt like I was visibly stressed to my mom and sister as they were leaving to give me space today to film. And so I just sent a message to our group chat being like, hey, how's it going? Thanks for giving me some space to film today. Stay positive, maintain good relationships and moods with everyone, even when things are tough, because when you're irritable and stuff, don't make other people irritable too, because that's also gonna make you worse. And even though we can work with other people and talk with other people to make us happier and lift our spirits, when we're overwhelmed and have so much to do, it's like at the end of the day, it's still something you have to adjust. You have to adjust your xingqing, the state of your heart or mood, already an English word for that. And the work I have, it's still work that I have to do. You are in control. I have to turn everything into preaching, huh? But see, with each check mark I have throughout the day, with each task I finish, I feel a little less overwhelmed, a little better. So just gotta keep going. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. What do you do when you feel overwhelmed, but you still have a lot of work to do? Basically, you're overwhelmed about the work you have to do. I cry and develop anxiety attack. <laughs> <laughs> no, but actually though, so yeah, Angel, <laughs> so Angel is selling herself short. She also graduated from Caltech literally a few months ago. How did you do it? I, wait, what was the question again? <laughs> How do you deal with feeling overwhelmed about the work you have to do and still get the work done if you do? I guess I take some deep breaths and then I work with my friends a lot on things. But I think I didn't really feel too overwhelmed with like a lot of things because I would only start super early. I was good at managing my time. Like the second a set came out, I would just do it and like work on it by myself first. And then if I felt overwhelmed or like I couldn't do it, I would just like put it away and then work on other stuff because I already made some progress on it. And then I would like go back to it later because I knew I had time to do that. Mm, like when you get stuck, you don't get frustrated and keep trying to jam your head into a wall. You just pivot, right? Yeah, because at Caltech, it's not possible to do everything on your own. So I don't think there's a point in like getting super frustrated. But you did call me sometimes when you were really stressed and overwhelmed. So like, how did you deal with bad mental health when you were still busy and had to get things done. I think a big thing that our dad taught us is that if you feel overwhelmed and stressed, the work is still gonna be there. And no matter what, you're gonna need to do it. So if you like cry and develop anxiety attacks, like I would sometimes, <laughs> it's not doing anything and you're actually just wasting time and then you just make yourself more stressed. So if you know the next steps to actually accomplish the things that are stressing you out, then you just gotta do them. And that's the harsh truth. I'm tired of this, Grandpa. That's too damn bad! Good job! You you should be an educational YouTuber, Angel. I can <laughs> teach this. <laughs> awesome! After finishing that one big task today of filming that long video, all the other tasks just seem to flow. Like, I was on a roll. I think that's why some people give the tip, eat the frog. Oftentimes, I like doing the easier, low-hanging fruit stuff first, but in this case, eat the frog really worked. I started procrastinating a little bit, but hear me out. It sounds weird that I started procrastinating when I was so overwhelmed, right? Like I must be more overwhelmed and stressed while procrastinating. But it's actually because after finishing all those tasks, I was still thinking, you know what? I have more to do. So it's not really reasonable to go out like I was thinking this weekend to Brooklyn for like a whole half day. Sometimes you just gotta say no and make these decisions. Plus, going out to Brooklyn with my sister and mom can be moved to next week when I have more things done. So I'm prioritizing the work, the fun will still come, plus it's thunderstorming this weekend anyway. But by the way, I'm going out tonight. <laughs> Best believe I'm still bejeweled, if anyone gets that reference. Yes, I'm still going out tonight because I was invited by one of my startup founder friends uh, to this Asian founders community party anniversary for one year. I honestly kind of regret to committing to this, but for these kinds of events where you get to meet new different kinds of people, I nearly never regret going. I know it'll still be great and could be cool, valuable. I'm bringing my friend along who's a VC 
shout out Taiki. If you've seen our podcast together, you know how freaking cool he is. I was really overwhelmed and stressed early this morning, but I think as I get work done, it lifts. And at the end of the day, like I predicted, I feel a lot lighter because I have indeed been progressing. It honestly felt really impossible in the moment earlier today, but you just have to believe and trust the process a ton of you have been requesting a video about what to do when you feel overwhelmed and when you feel behind and you just don't know where to start. I didn't feel right when I was trying to write this video because it was if it was a tip video, nothing wrong with that, but I just felt like oh, it's not right to lecture you when you're in a very overwhelmed and stressed state, right? Like I don't necessarily want someone to lecture me. And when I say lecture, I mean like, and I kind of lecture. I try not to sound luxury in my explainer videos. I hope this is reassuring, showing that I'm just a normal person. I may have achieved things that you will soon too. You will achieve amazing things too, but it all comes with struggles. Like it's not an easy path at all. We should definitely not believe that's an e easy path because if we think that it should come easy, that's when we get more stressed and more overwhelmed and more hopeless. We need to have hope and faith that the challenges are actually a gift because if we're being challenged, we're going to emerge stronger and nothing good comes easy. To all of you out there, Please keep your dreams alive. Dreams are something you have to believe in. I almost gave up on mine. They say stories like this only happen in the movies. I cannot believe it's happening to me. Mom, I just won an Oscar. We have to be stoic and understand that the work is still gonna be there. So we need to push on. Otherwise we're gonna feel even more stressed and more overwhelmed and things are gonna pile on even more. Then just to regulate your own emotions, perhaps do your own little routine like I did with meditation. It actually made a huge difference. Then just to evaluate and be honest with yourself about your commitments and see how you can make it easier. I'm gonna do my work this weekend and then maybe go out during a weekday because my work is pretty flexible. I can move things around. So I encourage you to also move things around. Like instead of going out this weekend, maybe you catch up, get more ahead, and then you can party later when you're guilt-free. Now I'm just rambling too long, but let me know if you like this format video, where it's more raw, like really a lot more raw than my explainer videos. And I'll catch you in the next one. Love you, A-team. Peace a different kind of overwhelmed, but every time I used to go to a party or social setting where most people are strangers, I would get nervous and be like, oh my gosh, am I, am I gonna be liked? Everyone's gonna be so much cooler than me. But I am so proud of myself because last night I went to the founders community thing and I met such cool founders, ones that are making a platform helping lower income students, students from around the world, from like third countries, be able to apply to colleges. And we basically talked most of the night and that's why I got home way later than I thought. I left at 12.45 a.m., got back at, oh, slept at around 2 a.m. And you know, there might be something cool in the works. They're just co such cool people, man. I'm so grateful I went every time before I go somewhere, even if I'm like, ah, oh, it's Friday night, so I just wanna stay in and chill. It's been a long week. I'm so tired. I've done so many things, so much work. I never regret still going out, pushing myself to do that. It's always worth it. So uh, kind of related, kind of not, but when I'm socializing, people just make me so happy and energetic, the right people. So if you're feeling overwhelmed or have not such a great mental health, mental space, like just find those people who light you up. When I'm deep into a conversation, I just, all my worries just slip away. I love people, man. Oh. <laughs>